when you're a farmer, you're automatically a problem solver. There's a lot of problems with the Chesapeake Bay. Back in 2009, I started a nonprofit, High Impact Environmental. I took a lot of my knowledge that I learned in the contracting business and I started to apply it to agriculture to help farmers to control their nutrient and sediment pollution. It's called a cascading system. If you took a cookie cutter and you cut out cells in that grass waterway about two feet deep, basically what it's doing is it's capturing that storm water, keeping it on the land rather than letting it flow into state waters. These fit right in existing grass waterways. So the amount of tillable land you would need to take out of production is minimal and sometimes maybe none at all. And it also creates excellent wildlife habitat in areas where there was just a grass strip. Now I've got areas out there where I've got ducks, geese, blue herons, white cranes, American bittern cranes, frogs, fish, the black willow. That came in all by itself, all natural. I got a grant through Maryland Industrial Partnerships. They helped to fund research for new innovative technology. So they partnered me with University of Maryland. They were able to measure the volume of water that came in, the volume of water that came out. When it was all said and done, there was a 56% reduction in storm water flow, and there's between a 60 and 70 percent reduction in sediment and nutrients that the system contained. Like a lot of farmers, I just feel like it's part of my responsibility just trying to do something positive with storm water for sustainability of agriculture and doing my part to help clean up the Chesapeake Bay. <laughs>